Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. Today, I'm incredibly excited to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 14.3 with the Checkrain jailbreak. Now, I know your time's valuable. We're going to try to keep this video pretty quick as the steps between iOS versions remain relatively similar. Now, as a quick outline of this video, we're going to cover supported devices and a few update warnings. Then we're going to go download the required files, connect our devices, jailbreak, and do some post jailbreak steps. But before we jump into that good stuff, I would first like to give a huge shout out to our friends over at Surfshark. Now, if you're looking for an affordable, secure, reliable, user-friendly, and fast VPN service, Surfshark is our favorite here on the channel. Essentially, VPN secure, unsecured networks. They also have a huge, wide range of practical use cases from daily things like hiding your internet data from your ISP or avoiding uh, ad manipulation so you don't see the same ad all the time, all the way to browsing restricted content on streaming services in certain countries or to my most recent use case, protecting my computer while on a public Wi-Fi network. Now, right now, they're offering an incredible holiday deal with us using the code ICU at checkout. You can not only get 84% off your subscription, but four months for entirely free. And one subscription can be used on an unlimited amount of devices. It's really hard to find something that Surfshark doesn't run on. Their device support is just that good. Again, click the first link in this video's description to sign up and save 84% and get four months for free. Okay, so let's get into today's video. A few warnings to start off with device support. The check range jailbreak, of course, will only work on devices from the iPhone 6S all the way up to the iPhone 10. Now, Tanner did a great job in our last video recapping how this exploit works on these devices with this jailbreak utility, if you're interested in more information there. Now, for newer device owners, for everyone that has an iPhone XS to an iPhone 12, do not update to iOS 14.3, as this utility will not work for you. That being said, it does some great things. It provides uh, security researchers a jailbroken environment to discover new vulnerabilities, and tweak developers the ability to get a jump start on iOS 14 support, so that when a jailbreak does come out for all devices, there will already be a bunch of things to install. So. Rumors suggest that a jailbreak for all of the devices is going to be coming out for iOS 14 to 14.1 sooner than iOS 14.2 or above. So again, do not update on newer devices. One more caveat with this version of the check range jailbreak for iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 users, you have to disable Face ID or Touch ID as well as passcodes. Again, for more information on this, check out our last video. And uh, very lastly, as far as the preliminary uh, warnings here go, please check the release notes of the latest version that's out on the check range jailbreak. The one that we're covering in today's video has yet to officially be updated to include iOS 14.3 support. But as you guys have probably seen from some of the videos we've done in the past, uh, it's really easy to just click allow for untested iOS versions and that allows us to jailbreak on these new iOS versions on day one in most cases. Again, check the release notes. I've not personally tested this. The only thing I saw is it looks like some iPhone 7 users may have trouble with uh, this version. But again, uh, official support will be coming soon if your guys' jailbreak is working just fine how it is on the iOS version you're on. Just wait until official support is out. Okay, with all of those updates out of the way, let's get on to jailbreaking iOS 14.3. Now, in this video, I'm using my iPhone 10 right here. As you guys saw right here, I'm on iOS 14.3. Uh, you're going to need to connect to your computer, trust the connection, do all of that good stuff. And again, if you're using the iPhone 10 or the iPhone 8, you actually have to go into the settings app, scroll down to face ID and passcode. And again, just make sure face ID is disabled and your passcode is off before jailbreaking on those specific devices. So. Uh, with that being said, again, now we're going to head to the computer. You can check the second link down below in this video's description or on screen now as well. Uh, basically, you're going to scroll all the way down to this giant check rain button to download the link. 
it's gonna go ahead and take a second right here to redirect. Now this is the time I'd really like to say thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you guys would like to support our channel, we really appreciate the support. Please consider subscribing. But if you just wanna download the jailbreak, just click, click here. Uh, and it will take you to the official Check Rain Jailbreak page. You can click Get the Beta Now and download the latest version. Again, in this video, we're using 0.12.1. There could be a future update. Just download the latest version and uh, click Download. So I went ahead and downloaded it before we started this tutorial. Essentially, it's going to download the DMG. You can just drag the application uh, to your applications folder and replace the latest version uh, if you have an old version of it already installed. We then can navigate to uh, our applications obviously and double click to open. Now if this is your first time opening this, you might have to approve it by going into the settings app, going to security and privacy right here, unlocking it uh, and the bottom left and right here you can allow apps downloaded from anywhere. It might actually just pop up something right here uh, for you to allow uh, the check rain jailbreak to open up. But since I've used this utility in the past, uh, it opens right up for me. So since we're using the iPhone 10 on an untested version of iOS, we can go ahead and go to options, we're going to click allow untested iOS versions right at the top. And again, right here, skip A11 BPR check. Uh, if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8, you are going to select that. But if you don't have one of those devices, just leave that unchecked. So in my case, I'm using an iPhone 10. And uh, right before we go ahead and start this, I'm using a dock right now but we actually have to disconnect that. There can't be anything between the iPhone uh, and the connection. So again, hardwire your device directly with a USB cable to your Mac. So with all of those steps in place, I'm gonna go ahead and click start right here. And it's going to pop up this warning. We can just go ahead and click okay. Follow these on-screen steps, just click next. It's going to put our device into recovery mode. And we're going to click start. Just follow the on-screen steps, again, holding the side and the power button, releasing the side button when the time comes, and hopefully here, if we did everything right, the check rain jailbreak should take over right here on screen. It looks like it did it correctly. I'll just give it a second for it to show up on the iPhone screen. So the boot process has started. There we have check rain. We have the terminal commands starting right up there in the top left. It's going to boot up here in just a second. There we go. We can unlock our device. Uh, and in just a second here, I'll turn the brightness back up. Uh, the check rain jailbreak should appear. Oh my gosh, phone. It appeared right there. Let me just fix the brightness real fast. So we have the brightness. Uh, we can actually go ahead and disconnect our computer because our iPhone has fully uh, completed the boot suite sequence. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it back on the dock just so you guys can see what's going on. Now, either you have to be connected to cellular or Wi-Fi for this next step. We're going to go ahead and open up the check rain jailbreak and install Cydia. Now, it's actually going to download Cydia from the internet. That is why you have to be connected to the internet on your iPhone at this stage. And there we have it guys. As you can see, it took a little bit of time to download. That it really depends on your Wi-Fi connection. But once Cydia has been downloaded, you guys can go ahead and tap to open it. Again, the only other thing we're gonna do, well actually while we're on this page, I'll scroll down and show you guys. Of course, we actually are on iOS 14.3. If I turn the brightness down a little bit, uh, you want to do this essential upgrade. I guess I'll go ahead and do the essential upgrade first. Let it restart here in just one second. I'm going to pop Cydia back open. 
to go to the home screen. And right there, guys, iOS 14.3. Cydia is running perfectly fine. Again, do essential upgrade or do a complete. Eventually, you're going to want to go ahead and run all of the updates that it has for you uh, before you install tweaks. But now we should be able to install tweaks right off the gate. Uh, I think an easy one is Digital Battery 13. This should place our battery percentage up in the top right instead of the battery icon. So as an example, let's just see if this one works on the iOS 14. And there we have it, guys. As you can see, obviously on iOS 14 with the widgets, uh, but we have our battery percentage there up in the top right. So super cool that Cydia can be run on iOS 14. Again, unfortunately, it's just with the check rain jailbreak, which comes with some caveats like limited device support, and it's a semi-tethered jailbreak, meaning you have to tether this to your computer to boot the device if it ever restarts. Anyway, guys, that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy jailbreaking on iOS 14.3. Thanks again so much for stopping by. Please subscribe before you go, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.